What are you doing drying my son's underwear with the AC? Why? Because it's wet. He had an accident. Oh, chill out. I wash it in the toilet. You didn't bring an extra pair in your carry-on, maybe? If I did, I wouldn't be doing this now, would I? Uh, maybe your son can go without underwear just for the next couple hours? Ew, no. That's so gross and uncomfortable for him. What's gross and uncomfortable is you having the entire plane inhaling your son's poopery. That was rude. Hey! Whee! I'm filing a complaint. What is your name? Hmm. Ah! My name's Lindsay! What are you What is the greatest asset of a flight attendant? Our smile. But did you know I actually used to greet passengers like this? That's because my teeth used to look like this. <gasps> I knew people were making fun of me and it really brought down my self-esteem. Until I decided to get Invisalign! Most people don't even notice I have them on. When I eat or brush my teeth, I do this. Invisalign completely changed my life, so talk to your doctor. What is the greatest asset? So I just saw this hack on YouTube of how to peel garlic. I'm gonna try it right now for the very first time because I don't think it's gonna work. So here, and then you just shake it. This looks like a donut. What's so special about it? Vanilla Papu Donuts and a cream to they saw. Woba. Strawberry shortcake and creamy to get another guy saw. Woba. Zap. I'm gonna put it in an order. So if you can believe this, there are people who are accusing me of using filters. And I mean, I don't know how to tell them that I'm not. It's just humiliating and embarrassing. I don't know. So if you can believe this, there. Have you ever walked on a plane and saw the flight attendant standing right here greeting you? or the flight attendants walking up and down the aisle. Well, I'm about to tell you what we're really doing. So when you're walking on the airplane and you see our happy smiley face, we're actually looking you up and down and we are trying to find our ABPs and what that is called is our able body people or person. So this is people who are going to help us in an emergency. Is that what we were supposed to do? I just check people out because it's fun. Have you ever walked on a She don't see us? <laughs> you see me? Yeah. Yes, I see you. You see me? Hell yeah, I see you. Both of us sitting here looking like two big barnies. Are you okay? Oh, I just have a stomach ache. I, I, 
think it was the burrito. I do I should have had the cheese. Babe, you don't look so good. <laughs> Call for help! Excuse me, can you help us please? Hello, what can I help you with? My insides feel like they're <laughs> Let me go get some help. We have a medical emergency, please. Is there a doctor on board? I'm a doctor. I'm just going to check your vitals, okay? What's wrong? I'm going to need you to take your pants off. My, my pants? You're going into labor. Lady, lady, you're psycho. I'm not pregnant. You're having a baby right now. Posh! Posh! Congratulations, it's a boy! You had no idea you were pregnant. No, had no idea. Hello, besties. Today is Father's Day, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't have any skits on Korean Dad, just on Korean Mom. Korean Dad, that's my pops right here, he actually passed away from cancer. Uh, it's now almost been two years. I'm not gonna lie, it's been pretty hard. Uh, but for any of you that have uh, lost your dad, today's going to be a difficult day. But I wanna share that your dad is still looking out for you. For instance, for me, I have been suffering from infertility for a very, very long time, and I'm finally pregnant. Now look at this. My dad's birthday was on January 21st. And that is my due date, January 21st, 2022. <laughs> Coincidence? Probably. But I believe that he's still looking out for me. To all the wonderful fathers out there, happy Father's Day. Hug your dad, tell him you love him when you can. Hello, besties. Today. I love you, Time I tried to use my laptop on the plane when I wasn't allowed. Give me the fruit snack. What? Give it to me. I'm telling on you that you're using your laptop. Get lost, kid. Man, flight attendant! Can you open it for me? Time I try. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. You need to wear your mask for the entire flight. Oh, I'm vaccinated, so I don't need my mask. Uh, let me get my vaccination card. That's wonderful, uh, but unfortunately, our airline still. You're not hearing me. I'm vaccinated. I just can't find my card right now, but you. I can prove it. I can prove it. It's, it's our policy, ma'am. You need to wear a... Huh? Found it. I'll prove it. Wait. Uh, just give me, give me one second here. Um, what are you doing? You know, when, you know, when you're vaccinated, you're, you're may not touch. Just give me a second. It works! I don't know what you're doing, but can you please stop and just wear your mask? If it doesn't work, I'll wear the mask, okay? Just just hold on. Just hold on. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Crap. You need to wear your mask for the end. Yeah, you need to wear your mask for the end. Oh, my, those are bushes. Good, you're not wearing the glasses I got you from clearly. I guess so. Yeah. 안경 쓰고 마스크 쓰면 too much fog. I cannot see. They're anti fog lenses. They don't fog. 그래? 저봐. 오! 너무 잘 보여. 야. 네, 잠깐만. 어! 포그가 없어. 와. 야, 너 얼굴에 링클이 이렇게 많았어? Give me back the glasses.
pendants always look flawless. Hey, that's better. Have you noticed that whenever you see a flight attendant, they always look perfect? We have a secret weapon. The Urban Decay All-Nighter Setting Spray. After you put on your makeup, it spritz spritz and off to work we go. Serve 400 passengers and still look flawless. Do some dirty work and still look flawless. We even take a nap in our secret flight attendant beds and we wake up looking flawless. And then after a 16 hour flight, we get back to the hotel. Night's not over. We get changed and enjoy some drinks with the crew. Urban Decay's All Nighter is that good. Our flight attendant. Yeah, when I'm on the right track, my myself then and I'm like right on a certain oh shit. Oh shit. Flight attendants subtly deal with rude passengers. Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. Don't pop like trouble, breaking into your heart like that. How flight attendants subtly deal with rude Hi, um, my, my seat's in the middle. Hey. You won't believe my luck. I'm sitting next to not one, but two fat people. I'm not even talking like fat, I'm talking like fat. Yeah, at least I'll be warm, right? Please don't talk about us like that. Excuse me, please don't listen to my conversation. I'm sorry, is there a problem here? Yeah, no, she's like listening in our conversation. Rude. Can you please remove this passenger to another seat? She's being verbally abusive. Hey, I gotta call you back. Uh, excuse me. Look, I can't even move my arms. It is not my fault that they're huge. Ma'am, if you just asked, we could have moved you to but another I seat. I would love to be moved. Thank you. I eat salad. What is this? Where are you taking me? You're going to need to find another flight to take you to your destination, okay? You're removing me because they're fat and they're literally in my space and made me uncomfortable? No, we're kicking you off because you're disgusting. I don't know how I'm going to do this in the next four hours. It happened just before takeoff on a United Airlines flight from Las Vegas to Newark, New Jersey. I'm, I'm stuck in the least I'll keep you warm. Okay. <laughs> it didn't end there. <laughs> Rogers flagged down a flight attendant. Excuse me. Can you find her another seat? Because I will not be verbally abused by this or anybody else. I can't sit here because it's both so big. I'm left and right. I can't, I can't even stand sit here. The flight attendant offered the fat shamer a new seat. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Because I can't sit like this. As the woman gets up, she delivers one more insult. Hi, um, my, my seat's in the middle. Is there anything at all that I can do to help your child feel more comfortable? Is she in pain? Um, I have some coloring books, uh, snacks, you name it, anything you want. Oh no, she, she just has behavioral issues. She's throwing a tantrum because she wants to watch Coco Melon. I have an iPad. I'll lend it to you and I'll uh, give you free Wi-Fi so you can watch Coco Melon. No, it's okay. She needs to learn that she can't get whatever she wants by throwing tantrums like this. Will, will she eventually stop crying soon? Probably not until she gets her Coco Melon. Hmm? It's an eight hour flight with over 400 people. 
Would it be okay, please, if you could just make an exception just this one time? Absolutely not. I don't even know why you're making such a big deal out of this. Like, everyone's watching the movie anyways. Okay, all right, but can you please just have her stop jumping on the chair and kicking the seat in front of her? Listen, she's just a child, okay? Children act this way. This is what they do. Everybody should understand that you can't control a child. Excuse me, do you think you just watch her for a second? I'm just gonna run to the toilet. Of course. your seat to someplace more comfortable. Please follow me. Oh, great. You're almost there, right this way. Is there anything at all that I can do to help your child? If you press that button, it'll take one year off of your life, but you'll get a hundred thousand dollars. Dude, stop, stop it. If you press that button, what it's like to invest in crypto. I'm going to upgrade your seat. No freaking way. Thank you. This is amazing. Welcome to business class, Mrs. Lee. Uh, no, I'm not Mrs. Lee. My apologies. Let me take you to your correct seat. This is a joke, right? You're um, joking. No, we don't guarantee well, anything, so... Can I get my original seat back? No, but... Trust me, just stay there and I'll find something better for you. Holy crap. I'm in first class. I'm in first class. Ma'am, your seat are through these doors. What it's like to invest in crypto. One girl eating soup alone. I'm just a guy in a construction zone. And just a boy scrolling on his phone. Just a girl with her cats at home. Just a guy with a traffic cone. Just a girl sitting on the throne. Just a girl swinging to the stone. Fun girl eating soup. Okay, hold up. <laughs> that's not the baby, that's just food. You know, I think, I think boogers are bigger than the size of- Okay, hold up. I was busy thinking about- How PF do girls wash their- just asking a question and the girls responded and these ones are my favorite i just hang mine out of the window at the car wash <laughs> i use vinegar and baking soda for the volcano <laughs> i can't even say it <laughs> i was busy thinking about Mr. Jackson Young wrote him a letter. I mean, must deliver it in Mr. Jackson. So, hold on. You want us to stay here until it's over? Is it mine? Forget it. Yeah, knock yourself out. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. What? What's up? I'm at my place for like 10 minutes, okay? Hey, my fat fit fun box! What is that? The seasonal subscription service? The one where they send you amazing items at a fraction of the price? No, I never heard of it. Yo, you need to sign up. I'll give you a discount code, okay? Aw, oh, thanks! Can I open that to check it out? Yeah, of course. You can customize it to what you want, too. That's so cool! You wanted bananas? The super long video is the video before this one, if you want to check it out. But here is the short one. That's why. That's why. The super long- Hello besties! This is true, I haven't been creating content uh, for a little over a month. My daddy has a gold tooth. Wow, gold tooth? My dad has a gold tooth. My dad has diabetes.
My daddy has a gold tooth. If you leave me, you ought to go. Enjoy real clips of passengers that refuse to wear a mask on the plane. You need to have a mask on. You need to have a paper, the paper mask that they provide. And it has to be a. I'm speaking to you, ma'am. Ma'am, I'm speaking to you. You have to wear your mask the whole entire flight. If you're unable to do so, you will be removed from the flight. That's a great A woman refused to wear her mask on a flight and yelled at everyone on board. Take a listen. American Airlines flight to Washington, D.C. Now, she did calm down and was escorted by police. Also tonight, new video of a fight aboard a Valley flight. An Allegiant passenger refusing to wear his mask, leading to this scuffle. Please enjoy real clips of passengers that refuse to wear a mask. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. You just need to keep your mask on. Yeah, no thanks. Well, um, you need to keep your mask on, please. I can't breathe. Do you want me to die? No, of course not, but... Okay, good. Okay. Uh, there's a passenger that's refusing to keep her mask on. What? Okay, let me talk to her. Strategy 1. Be informative. Excuse me, ma'am. Our airline policies clearly state that all passengers need to wear a face mask for the duration of the flight. Yeah, like I told your little friend earlier, I have a medical condition. I can't breathe, so I don't need to wear a mask, okay? I'm sorry to hear that. May I please see your doctor's note? I don't need a doctor to tell me I can't breathe. I'm telling you that I have difficulty breathing. When you first booked your ticket and when you checked in for this flight, you knew about our policies. You want to talk about policy? Your company made me take the, the vaccine and now the government is tracking me everywhere I go. That's what you guys made me do, and now you want me to wear a mask? That doesn't even make any sense. Nobody forced you to get the vaccine, ma'am. We just require a mask. Especially Jeff and God knows what. See, I'm vaccinated. Uh, that's a boba stamp card. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm vaccinated, so I can't get COVID. I can't give any of you guys COVID, so just, like, leave me alone. Uh, yeah, she won't listen to me either. Guys, come on, didn't you pay attention in training? I got this. Strategy two, ultimate customer service. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh my God, what? I would first like to apologize that we are making you wear these masks. I know they are so uncomfortable. I, I hate them so much as well. I can barely breathe in it as well. But unfortunately, this is our company policy and we are just doing our job. And I would really appreciate it if you could just wear your mask just for the next couple hours. Can you please? No. Oh no. That didn't work. Ugh. Amateurs, I got it. Strategy three threat. Hey lady, put on your mask. Excuse me? I said, put on your mask now. You can't talk to me like that. You disrespect my colleagues? Absolutely I can talk to you like that. Children behave better than you. That's embarrassing. Oh, wow. And now you're comparing me to a child? My God. That would be a compliment for you. Now put on your mask. Or what? What are you going to do? You're going to strap me to my chair? Force me to wear this mask like an animal? Yeah, I've seen YouTube. I know what you guys do. Mm -hmm. That is an option, but that seems like a lot of work for me. I am going to give you one more opportunity to wear your mask. Eh? Off. Oh. What is your emergency? Uh. How can I help you? Good. Is there uh, is there a grown up there I can talk to? I'm fine. I don't need to tell you something. Okay. What is your name? Lene. Oh, Lene. What do you want to tell me, Lene? 
We went to Disney on Ice. You went to Disney on Ice? Yes. Okay, can I talk to your mommy or your daddy? No, they're busy. I know they're busy, but I need to talk to one of them, please. No, uh, I'm, I'm busy, too. I'm going to play games, so I just wanted to tell you something, but bye. Son, what is your emergency? Yeah, I need some help. What's the matter? With my mouth. With your mouth? No, with my mouth. I have to do it. I have, I have takeaways. Oh, you got to do the takeaways? Yeah. All right, what's the problem? Um, you have to help me with my mouth. Okay. Tell me what the mouth is. Um, oh, here's one. Five take away five. Five take away five. And how much do you think that is? Five. This one is from Grandma and Grandpa, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I love that. Um, Merry Christmas, Matt. We love you so much. Wow, thank you guys. That is really sweet. Oh, and that I is... think there should be some cash in there. Oh, it appears there is. This one is from Grandma. Dad. Yeah. Can I walk to Chad's house? Sure, but that's a rough neighborhood, so you remember. If anyone offers you drugs, you say... I am down how much for crack? No, no, you are not down. I am not down with any of your crack. If a stranger asks you to get in his van, you say... On my way! No, nope, not right. Stranger danger. Yeah, that's what I meant. What if a stranger pulls up on you with his car, he's like, Hey, I can't find my dog. Can you get in help me search for my dog? This one's easy. Okay. You help him find that fucking dog. Nope. Right, right, right. Fuck that dog. What if someone offers you candy? I'll take my shirt off for a snack. Snickers. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I should just drive you. So don't take my shirt off for a Snickers bar. Dad. Yeah. Can I walk to chat? Okay, let's try this out. I hope I get Alina because, you know, being sun summoners, kind of cool, right? Come on, Alina. Come on, Alina. An edge? Isn't she the sneaky spy assassin? How am I an edge? Sandra? Yes? There's a passenger complaining about you. Uh, what was the seat number? Uh, 48A. Sandra? Where did she go? Ah! Hey. What? Yeah. I'm an edge. Okay, let's try this out. You good? Are you gay? Mama. As flight travel starts to reopen, we're going to have to start dealing with security lines again. There's a lot of indicators I can share with you to get through these lines a lot quicker, but I'm going to share with you the easiest one. Follow the business passengers. If they're wearing a suit, carry a briefcase, or look like they're going straight from the airport to a business meeting, you're going to want to stand behind them. They've done this a hundred times. They are quick. Not only that, they've already scanned the lines to see which one is the fastest. As flight travel starts to reopen, 